All right, I've gathered my supplies and I've laid them out on my table and I'm ready to begin. The first thing that I wanna tell you about Notan Designs is that um, it uses contrast. Contrast is when in art you have a really big difference between um, two values or two colors. So in this instance, we're using black and white so we can have a really big difference of color. Um, another thing I want you to know about this is um, it uses positive and negative shapes. So when we cut a shape out of our white square, we are going to be creating the negative space and the shape that we cut out is called the positive shape and that's going to be glued on the other side. So the first thing we're going to, be, going to do is draw a, an interesting shape. Um, starting on one side, I like to use the left side. Um, draw an interesting shape and then have it connect back to the left side. When you're drawing your shape, you don't want it to be too close to either of the other three edges. So remember that when you're drawing your shape, that you will have to cut this shape out. So you don't wanna make your line too complicated or it might be really difficult to cut out. This is kind of close to the edge, but none of the other lines are, so I think I'm gonna be safe with that one. So put that one aside. Now I want this one to be pretty different from that one, so it looks kind of different. So how about I'll have some rectangles coming out, trying to be careful not to get too close to the edge. Maybe do something like that. Okay, so those are just both abstract. And now I'm going to cut them out. When I cut these out, I wanna cut out so that I just have one shape when I'm done. I don't wanna cut this in lots of parts and pieces. So remember when you hold your scissors, your thumbs at the top, your fingers are at the, the bottom, um, your thumbs in the smaller hole. When you're cutting, you can turn your scissors and you can turn your paper. And as I'm cutting out, I don't have to cut exactly on my lines, but I do need to be careful that I'm just making one cut so that when I'm finished, I'll have one shape and not lots of parts and pieces. So that's kind of close to the edge. So instead of cutting exactly on that line, I'm gonna cut a little bit in. So I'm just gonna keep cutting all the way around carefully. All right, when you are done cutting, what you wanna do is just place your shape back into the negative space like a puzzle piece and just set it aside. Now I'm gonna cut my second one. All right, so what you wanna do is now you wanna place one in the corner, top right hand corner, like that. And the other one you want to be um, on the other side, you want it to be in the bottom left hand corner. So you may have to flip one of them over. So once it's like that, then what you are going to do is you're going to try to understand that you're gonna be flipping the positive shape over to the other side, kind of like a hinge. So you're just turning it over and you're lining up the edge here with the edge of the white shape, the white square. So it kind of is gonna complete the edge of the white square. So it's the symmetrical mirror image. And now I'm gonna flip this one over. So it is also right on that line and it's gonna be the symmetrical mirror image. Now it's time to glue it down. So I'm using a glue stick and I'm gonna use a paper towel underneath my shape because I wanna be able to put a lot of glue on here. I always like to start by gluing down the bigger shapes. 
So I know this is, has to be facing up. So to glue it, I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna put glue all over the back. And since I have a paper towel here, I know that my extra glue can just be uh, on my paper towel and I don't have to worry about it getting on the table. Um, all right, so I put a bunch of glue and oops, some of it even got on the front. Now I have to really line this up carefully with the edge. So I want it to match up with the edge of my black paper pretty well. And after I kind of get it placed, I'm gonna press and rub that with my thumb. And I got some glue on my paper, so I'm gonna to try to remove that with a paper towel. All right. <clears throat> Now I'm going to glue down the positive shape. So the positive shape is going to get put right here. So I know that I have to flip it over to put glue on it. Okay. And I have to make sure I'm putting it on right on the line so it's gonna match up right there. And then I can press and rub the rest. All right, I'm gonna repeat those same directions for these two shapes. So this is gonna go here. So I know I have to flip it over to put glue on it. Line it up. Press and rub. And my last shape, I have to flip it over to put glue on it. And then when I go to put this one on, I am making sure to match this part up perfect, as perfect as I can get it. And then I press and rub the rest. And so I have two different shapes that are uh, mirror images, symmetrical, and I have the positive shape and the negative space of each one. Um, what I like to do is I like to take my eraser and erase oops, any extra pencil marks that might be there. Um, erase carefully because you saw what just happened to me. I kind of wrinkled up my paper a little bit. That happens. But I try to go around the edge and get rid of the pencil marks because I think it makes my art look much, much better when I do that. And after you have done that, um, I like for you to sign it, please. So find a place to sign it. I'm gonna sign mine down here. Nice, neat handwriting in one of the corners. And then I'd like for you to take a picture and upload it to either Seesaw, if you're in second grade, or other grades, please upload it to Google Classroom. Put it in uh, the art assignment that is called NOTAN and let me see your work. I hope you enjoyed this project and had fun and I'll see you next time.